racing tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Uh, Greg. Uh, well, if you want to work on the cruisers, follow Chris over there and there's stuff to be done. Over here on the Scots, we're going to, we have one boat over here. We're going to take it out of the, um, out of the trailer. We're going to tilt it and scrub the bottom and buff it. Julian, raise your hand. <laughs> so he's going to be leading the, uh, this boat over here. Dick will be with, with Susie Q over there. So follow their leads. I also need a couple of volunteers to put together new logbooks for the Flying Scott and I also have new bags, uh, new safety bags. So if we can switch over all this stuff from the old bags to, to the new bags. And I also have new uh, winch handles, so there's going to be two per bag. <laughs> so these are the new handles. Ooh, so if you see somebody Ooh. with a green or blue and red, Put them in their pocket, tell them that is scouse, put it back on the safety bag. Remember, you're supposed to bring one for yourself. These are just for emergency. Another thing we need to do is the, uh, the storage locker on the far side over here. It is full, full of stuff. We need to keep three sets of uh, Flying Scott sails and the rest we're going to donate for a scow bag project. The guy that was on my crew, I think he's stuck in there. He's stuck in there? Yeah, or you crew. left him in <laughs> there? Seen him since you you left him in there. If you guys want a first aid for engines, Peter is your guy. He'll be doing it over at the g Dock. And also, Jen Earl, she was... Did she leave already? No, she's <laughs> over there. She's right there. Hey, Jen. And we just got... You'll, you'll be doing the reefing seminar. And we just got... And uh, so part of the reefing seminar will be how to properly reef because we have a feeling that they're getting ripped because people are not reefing the sails properly. Christine, thank you so yeah, much yeah. For, for the food. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! I just want to give a plug for our upcoming Hail and Farewell. It's going to be November 16th at Fort McNair's Officers Club and there'll be an email going out hopefully sometime this week after I get with them about the menu. So. Brown. I'm going to replace the old bags with new bags. Is that what I heard? <laughs> you guys the yeah, so I've got one end, you got the other end? Yep. Gonna start. Hold the boat up while yeah. we pull the trailer out. Exactly, yeah, I got it. Right? Right over and mash the bass, yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice. <laughs> but is it quick, fairly quick setting? Or? Oh, yeah. yeah it, will, it will set within 30 minutes. Yeah. Ah, okay, good, good. Oh, one, two, three places. Yeah. Wow. Four. Somebody was running into something very heavily. Foxy, that needs to. That was done last maintenance day, right? Oh, nice. But is going to be right, right? It was left to set, so that needs to be now grounded down. Yeah. I'm Randy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Greg. Yeah. Don, we're uh, making new log books um, for all the Flying Scots. Oh, the old one. <laughs> and we had just had someone who has gone violently ill and will have to go to the hospital. Uh, we'll call the ambulance right away. And I've just finished Miss Sally's uh, decorative piece. Beautiful. <laughs> the next one we're going to okay. go to Susan Q. Are we going to actually transfer yeah. all the tides from October 2013? Or we will Probably. The new yeah, ones? let's do that because they can be used all year. Yeah, global warming isn't that bad yet. It doesn't affect uh, yeah. Potomac as much. Do those maps still have the mines in them from the 1940s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The 1940s, the from mines, 1917. Yeah. Oh, 1917 ones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1861 for all we know, you know, the old iron sides crawling up the Potomac. Hmm. That's a lot of tension on the zipper. It's all right. I think so. I do. Oh, so it's, it's like a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> exactly. Them out. You're, so. you're taking them home with you. Yeah. She want one. Yeah. yeah. Well, is, is there make, one? Make is a nice one cooler. that's in good shape? Oh gosh, no. That's why we're replacing them. That's why we're giving them to you. 
It's the same procedure if you have a pla if you have like a blister on the boat or no? Or is it going to be different? A uh, blister is the depending uh, whether it's uh, from the inside to the outside or uh, if it's a blister from from the inside to the outside means there's water under the hull which which is uh, evaporating. So then you need to grind it off first and then yes, eventually you would It'll use the same, the same procedure. Thing, right? yeah. You, need, you want to cut some more short bits for there, that's what I always do. Yeah, I, I, would, I would like to give it the same shape again, so yeah. that's why I try to... Yeah, it should be straight, right? Do you, yep. you think this green stuff's safe? <coughs> so I had a little uh, crack on, uh, on, on where the center board comes from, and I put it on that. I could grind it after 30 minutes. It's like it says, caution, may stick Germans to centerboards. boards. <laughs> 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 <I'm> stuck! <laughs> See her. It's still a, still a dip in there. If you put like a, an extra piece, here we go. Here we go. He, just, he, just, he just made it. He just made it happen. I'll hold it. Yeah, hang on a second. Okay. You know, before you do all that, do you think? Yeah, I, I don't have my glasses, so it's actually hard for me to see how stripped those are. Oh, they're very stripped, and so I don't know that a Phillips will do it. You want to just try it? I'll give it a shot. This is, this is the worst one here. Yeah, look at that. Or SOL with that one. Snap the rudder, too. When we hit, I hit, I let the main out, uh -huh. and as I'm getting thrown forward over the back, I let the jib out, uh -huh. squeeze in the water, and it snapped the rudder. You got a foot plate there. All right, so just, that's right. I'm just holding you up so I'm doing nothing. Good. That is, not, that is very light, isn't it? That's, that's the main. Is that the main? Oh, that's what it is. That is very, very light. She doesn't well, make sense. Is it a spinnaker? No. Is a spinnaker no, all line, no, right? Is a spinnaker all line? This, this has to be very light. No, it's not. There is one more inside. Well, that's the one. That's the same one, right? Yes. Ah, uh, this is Dick Vita, Jim Klein, Patrick, Thacker. Uh, we're uh, changing the the, uh, the center bolt, the, the, the center, center board roller bolt, and checking the fray to, to see if the uh, the cable for the center board is fraying or not. After that, we're going to take the boat over there, flip it over inside, and wash her down. And uh, Susie, Susie Q will be clean and ready to sail again. We tried to use the pressure washer, and that didn't work. I think the, the scum from the Potomac is just too much for a yeah. power washer. Mm -hmm. I would leave it here. No. Yeah. 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 I think we probably have it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we do. My boat boy to use this stuff. Turn around there and smile at him, boat boy. Yeah, <laughs> and it's great. I like it because I don't have to pay him so many minimum wage hours to get it done. Can you give me a yes, sir? Yes, sir. There you go. Hi, <laughs> Captain. Arr. Arr. It should be coming from uh, straight up. It, it should be coming from close to the mast. So we're uh, on skirmish. We got so many things going well, we're uh, putting up a uh, burgee halyard. So uh, we're just uh, getting the lines for, um, for the bosun's chair. 
uh, going, and then Jonathan's down there. He's gonna have a safety line when we're done with that. Great. We have a Phillips head. Um, I need a uh, 3 8 inch open end wrench. Um, like an adjustable, maybe? Uh, adjustable, I bet that would do it. I think I'm gonna run it to the starboard side and use that winch over there on the right. This one here? Yeah. Sounds perfect. And that we're going to, uh, we're installing a thing to uh, to put up flags. <laughs> Because <laughs> sailing is about being goofy and having fun. Right. So we obviously need flags. Yeah. So this guy is going to uh, come on. Not on this side. It's going to go on the opposite side, over right over there, okay. on the spreader. Okay. And uh, we'll actually put it on. We'll, we'll probably put it on this this uh, uh, spreader here. Okay. Uh, basically, all we need to do. This is the wire, um, and this is the uh, U-bolt. So we're just gonna um, pop in, um, pop, pop this around that wire like that, put the U-bolt around it, and then just tighten that on. We need our Phillips screwdriver, is there any chance I can get it? Yep. Yeah, as soon as Jonathan gets back to the drill bit, I hope that that's what he's doing. I think that's what he said he was doing. Okay, rock and roll. Yeah, let's do it. I got, uh, I got a half an hour. Okay. Oh, our bosun. Okay, <laughs> We're soaking our bosun's chair. I think it's chair. better to use that one there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're crabbing here on the side. <laughs> and it looks like we caught one. We lost a U-block. So we're gonna need to find a U-block for um, our spin block back here. When we're done with this, I'll go do that. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do, um, and Josh, if you wanna do uh, backup for John, that'd be awesome. Um, so, uh, so what we'll do is we'll set up everything and then I'll check everybody's knots so that, you know, or everybody will check everybody, everybody's knots. Alrighty. Can you uh, lower the chair yeah. a little bit? Oh, where is the seat went? Uh. <laughs> Actually, uh... What do you think? Or what if we just run it around the shrouds here? Yeah, perfect. Well, I don't know about that one. No, it's, it's, it's good. Will it load okay? Yeah. Does that mean it's going to run okay? Yeah. It's not going to jam? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll tie this and then you can check my nut. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm also going to need the actual drill. That's a big bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and swap out the bit. A little smaller, huh? Yeah, I think a little smaller sounds right to me. Yeah. Use the. I would maybe use the smallest of the three. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because once you start tapping Great. through there, it'll widen the hole and hold it tight. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you can still get that around your. Uh, I thought you were gonna clickle to the line so it doesn't smack you in the nose. Put it, put it in a holster where it, where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somehow I think that's that doesn't go with ocean. Uh, Could we maybe put the bit in when we get up there? Uh, probably drop it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think we're about ready to rock and roll. Okay. Let me uh, let me check all your uh, your back watch. there. Uh, will you sh will you show me that that's locked? Yep. The carabiner. We're locked right here. Yep. Okay. Good to go. Rock and roll. Uh, looks good. Okay. Ready, boy? Uh, lay on. Yep. All right. And uh, can you take off one of those wraps? Let me, Chris. Stand by. Let me get gloves on real quick. Okay. It'll help. That looks good. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, Josh, you can just take up that slack after him. If you find a cleat that you can actually hook it to, that's even better. We should balance this boat, I think. Yeah, I'll make the stand on it. Once you get up there. Oh, Josh. Josh can get on that side. Okay. I'm taking the slack yeah. out. They're slipping on the winch. Slipping on the winch. Yeah. We need another wrap, I think. 
I'm, I'm worried about how that winch is slipping. Um, you want me to put another wrap on it? It's a nice thick line. I think it'll work. All right. I think it'll be okay. I think we're okay. How's that? Oh, uh, that's going to be perfect. Okay. How are you doing on your uh, red safety line? Uh, that's perfect, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to let go. I don't think we're going to lower you. Uh, how about you take the bit out and then uh, can we send up a bucket or you want to just... Why don't you lower it with the, you know, with that's the line? That's a good idea. Yep. You crazy finger people.